Hi, this is Eric at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and this is Florida Natural Farming. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a video on the star apples, the Camito. We grow five different types of star apples, five colors, purple, green, gold, pink, and white. I believe there's three or four different species, uh, probably two species, but uh, could be uh, three or four. Anyway, I look for information on the rare star apples to the Australia Dailies Fruit Forum uh, uh, in Australia because they seem to have the up-to-date information and it's not uh, pushing chemicals. So that's where I go for my uh, popular forums to find out information that people are talking about um, that really know. Uh, I consider Mike T. Uh, Mike Trenary, the probably the leading uh, voice, public voice on tropical fruit. Anyway, uh, maybe not on organic, but I know that he endorses growing naturally. Um, but anyway, this is here we go. I'm standing in front of, <laughs> in front of the uh, my uh, some of my lemon drop mangosteens. There's three different types of lemon drop mangosteens. Uh, they're getting quite large. They're like more than seven feet. Some of them. Uh, and getting bushy and this is the Garcinia gardneriana uh, it's the largest one uh, it's quite nice uh, I eat it skin and all I've been eating them all skin and all uh, I found the intermediate repulsive so I wasn't eating it a lot of people call this the Dabico I think but those are just seed sellers trying to sell seeds just like Adam calls it the Superior lemon drop mango steam. It's not. It's the Gardneriana. Go to Oscar Fruit Lovers. He'll show you a picture of what it looks like. So I really think the Brazilianensis is the best. It's the sweetest. Well, we have a hybrid Gardneriana with this. That's just as good. Um, I try to plant all the seeds. The more plants you have in your system, the better. I'm going to get over to the intermedia. So, uh, so a lot of people get confused of what's what, Brasiliensis or intermedia. Well, if Gardneriana is the largest lemon drop mangosteen, and the smallest one is Brasiliensis, then the one in the middle is called intermedia. That's pretty basic common sense uh, to figure it out. Uh, the, you know intermedia in between <clears throat> but anyway so that's how that goes i'm gonna go over and get that but i'm working my way over to the uh to the camitos the chrysophyllum <clears throat> chrysophyllum uh argentium aratum i saw bellamy seeds which has a picture of something that's obviously not a chrysophyllum it's looks more like a jamun or java plum something um, but, uh, the Chrysophyllum argentium uratum are, uh, round and, uh, have a whitish to pinkish color. So, uh, uh, we have it. We have the one that in Australia they call ju Juicy Pearl. I believe we're the only ones that have it. So I'm looking at this cacao. Oh my God. I just have to say a little bit about UFL and their recommendations. And I just, I'm gonna do a video on cacao. This cacao fruits for us from seed, dry farmed. They suggest growing on a mound. Cacao can grow under, or, you know, be fine under a lot, lots of water, standing water. And it can handle drought, obviously, if we grow them dry farmed from seed. And we plant them in the middle of, uh, the middle of drought. And they do just fine, obviously. Uh, I'm not gonna go into great detail of it, but, you know, you really have to look at historically how they were grown traditionally or historically um, since they were first brought brought to us. And Flo University of Florida, you know, you know, everyone knows what the Florida Florida man is. It's a euphemism euphemism for dumb. Well, I now know where they teach <clears throat> the agricultural department at our places of higher education here in Florida. And uh, you've got to look 
at how they were grown, how could you just discount everyone else in the world's historical 2,000 years of knowledge and not even look at it or mention it? And then they say to apply fertilizer to it and remove all the plants from around the, around the, the, uh, the trunk of the tree in the hole. Well, you're just setting your plant up for failure if it doesn't have any biology in, it, in the soil, which in carbon, you want the carbon from the root, not from the compost. Do not add compost one to one ratio in any hole you put. In fact, remove all soil from your, from your, uh, from your plant before you put it in the ground and put the soil on top, unless it's from a nursery with chemicals and then throw it away. So here's the intermedia. This is the one in the middle. <sighs> It's pretty big. They vary in size, but if there's not a lot of, if the first uh, fruiting past winter, there's there's usually the first few are really big, but then their average size is just a little bit bigger than the intermedia. That's like a comparison in, uh, I mean, to the Brasiliensis. That's pretty good. They're pretty sweet here. They can have a little nipple hum. I really Brazilianus doesn't it's always around. So all this this uh, diversity, all this this grass, is where the you know the life is attracted to and brings life. And they, I still read where uh, you can't. It's very hard to get soil aggregation in sand. Well, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This property is all fine sand, and it, that's how it was when we moved here. Compacted fine sand because they mowed on it. We let the grass grow out and planted a lot of trees in it. And the more we plant, the better things do. I have a friend, Tim, that uh, sent me a picture of a mangoes he's harvesting. He said it's, gro it's growing right adjacent to the biggest uh, oak tree, live oak tree he's ever seen. <clears throat> he's the one that gave me, uh, we trade plants. I like to trade plants with people. He's been coming by here for a few years now. So um, he's given me a lot of nice plants that all, all of his plants, all of them survive. <clears throat> Thank you, Tim. Anyway, so I talked a little bit about the fungi in the last video. The fungi, we try to make a fungally dominant soil by staying off of it and only applying nitrogen that's not above 5% in small amounts that's a whole food, meaning it comes from cows. Cow manure, clean cow manure creates aggregation in Florida, period. That's what does it. Uh, that's does it. It's a foolproof method. You don't even know, need to know anything else. Finding clean cow manure, we use miniature zebu, thank you, Bharath, Hindustan, uh, uh, another name for what was India. Um, what the English called India. So, with this, all this stuff in the fungally dominated, dominant soil, so they, they, and they, the Florida man that teaches at colleges here in Florida <coughs> uh, and writes the, the stuff that they, they tell everyone to do in their household. So they're telling everyone in their household to apply nutrients. Um, well, they don't, the nutrients means uh, chemicals. Uh, water soluble chemicals, which is why you have to water. So they tell you to do it in such huge amounts. I figured it out once. It worked out if I did it, it would be like, I don't know, 185 pounds of nitrogen per acre. Well, we have all these issues with uh, our natural systems, the coral dying, the, the, uh, uh, the greening, the red tide, the greening in Okeechobee, and then they do the water releases. That is caused by the Florida man that teaches at Florida, teaching people, telling people what to do. And they'd say right in their, in their things for fertilizer recommendations, we need to tell people to do it on the high side because a lot of it runs off. Well, <laughs> so you're admitting that you're polluting Florida. Uh, you're setting yourself up for a lawsuit, Florida man. I'm a Florida man, but I want to change what people think about Florida man. <clears throat> it's not a good look to be known as the stupid person in America, because there's a lot of us here that are not stupid and are trying to change things. But we have spread our ignorance across the whole globe because they think it, it creates wealth. <laughs> well, if you're killing everyone and you're polluting the waterways and 
uh, just a couple of you are getting rich, you need to do an about face and look at the whole system. Look at what other people do before you give recommendations and, or please edit them and stop doing that. It just, it's like so foul. So this is where I plant my, I'm gonna go right into the Kamitos now at 10 minutes and 13 seconds. And that's all I'm gonna talk about and then that'll be it. So this is our Jocko Beach. For some reason I thought it was Brazil. Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes. I make mistakes in my video. I do not edit them out. I just come out here and start talking. I have a topic and then I start talking about it. <clears throat> so the fungi, uh, they mineralize the, car, the, uh, the, the, uh, they t it, that turns into mineralized carbon. I just had to finish that off with the help of the cow manure. That's what does it. It's a, f it just does it, period. I mean, how do you think the citrus industry started? Uh, there's no information, historical information on how they started. They started because it was so easy to grow here that they just put their trees into the, uh, the super organism in the soil. Anyway, this is our Jocko Beach <laughs> Camito. It is a, uh, 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 getting kind of big. All of our, our Camitas, uh, star apples, are, uh, are uh, seed grown. Uh, never been watered. Uh, I connected them to water for a very short time and stopped because it was killing everything else. It was killing my bananas, rotting my bananas, and it just didn't work. This was the, the worst compacted spot in the soil. All of our problems on this farm are due to mowing the lawn and creating compaction. But yes, that's the farm farm plan by the the uh, professor, Florida man. <sighs> Can't win here. It's so hard to go up against that ignorance, that dogma, and the just downright racism is what it is. Completely ignore what the brown people did. It's racism. Florida has a long history of racism. It's still going on. Anyway, so this is Oscar's Giant Purple. It's supposed to be a super big, like softball size uh, Camito. This is definitely a Camito. And I bought the seeds from Oscar at Fruit Lovers. It used to, uh, the TFS used to have Oscar on there, and it used to have me on there. It used to have people that actually uh, provided really good information. But I was too, I guess, a uh, non-Florida man for the Florida people, and uh, they like started calling me names, and I'm just not gonna be part of that. Uh, uh, just like, I watched them do it to a bunch of people on that thing. It's just typical America at its worst. That's what how I feel about that place. Go to the one, Daily's Fruit Forum. I think it's Daily's Fruit. It's in Australia, it's much better. And please don't ruin it. I probably won't let you. These are the June plums. They're okay. They're not as good as the hog plums. So this is another Oscar's Giant Purple. So yeah, this was so compacted here. I'm surprised that these little trees actually were uh, growing. Oh, well. That's pretty big. It's a gamito. These have not flowered yet. They're going to. I'm not even worried about it. I know they will. They're uh, just really uh, nice. I saw this, like, reach down and got some soil was here just so people could see that it's not fine sand. It's actually aggregated carbon. Um, this is because of the cow manure, the zebu manure that we use in small amounts. It's a 5% nitrogen. Yeah, you can't really tell people to apply 7% nitrogen and then tell them to apply it in higher amounts because it's going to run off and then expect that the waterways are the, the fault of the, of the um, conservation corps releasing water. No, it's the Florida man that did it. You're the one that is creating the green water with your, their, your nutrients. Obviously, if they can grow sh organic sugar, sugar cane here in Florida with great success, uh, you don't get pests and disease when you have a healthy organic system. Pests and disease comes from using chemicals. That's the only place it comes from if it's attacking your tree. So, because it, it, when you use chemicals, you don't form a bond with biology in the soil. So your your tree absolutely has zero ability to signal to, uh, you know, uh, 
predators of uh, plant carnivores to come and take care of the, 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 the plant, the problem that's killing the tree. It just, ha it's just, it's like our people. It's really like our people. Florida man is because of the chemicals, the insecticides, guaranteed. It's all that runoff of green and stuff. That all has the ant killer and everything else in it. And it, if they had the roots in the ground and they're applying like all these roots, then it would probably absorb into the water. That's the only way the water can get into the aquifer. <clears throat> Hello? Stop driving all over everything. You don't have to do weeds. You could do, you know, I have so much property here. The weeds work the best. I mean, they, they do. Uh, they put what needs to be in there. But you could put, like, um, different plants, you know, like an English cottage garden. And um, make it look, you know, lots of perennials and annuals mixed together of your design. And then stay off of it. I mean, it doesn't have to resemble this. I personally like it. It's all medicinal herbs, mostly. And they come up by themselves. So I have this uh, pink. So this is a pink, 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 pink uh, star apple. Vietnamese pink. Thank you, Vietnam and Philippines, for your contribution to wonderful plants. Uh, I'm sorry that we have taught a lot of your people how to poison the planet. And hopefully a lot of you are learning uh, or know not to. Because that's what that stuff does. They say this isn't a, a true Kamito. That it's, you know, it's something else. I believe it. it's probably something else. It's a variation of, uh, it's, it's a, they say it's a dwarf. It's a seed grown plant. Sure, it's not huge, but this was tiny. I planted them this big. I put them right into the, the, the uh, super organism. Plant them like the forestry tells you to plant small trees. And put them in there and move on. Biodiverse. The more different plants you have, the better your plant is going to do. Period. The better your system's going to do. <clears throat> the tropical fruit people are just in Florida, and uh, not all of them, of course, but a lot of them. The ones that are vocal are the ones that are looking for problems to their diseases. It's you that's causing the disease. It's not the plant plant can take care of it just like the only cure for for uh for the pollution the the sick trees the sick coral and stuff is to put more nature back into the system it's not going in the opposite direction and pretending like you don't know what it is it's just oh so this is the um this is like a, the the philippine gold kamito um and it's definitely not a, a kamito, star apple. It is a star apple, but it's not a kamito. I could tell this one is definitely not a kamito. It has the lighter leaves and it's more uh, long spear-like leaves. And it's supposed to be like the best, it's like DPI gold or Philippine gold star apple. Seed grown, it's about 10 inches tall. It was like two inches tall when I planted it out here. Uh, I try to plant multiples of everything. Um, uh, and a lot of them get eaten by the rabbits. Lots of them get eaten by the rabbits. There's a pepper tree. See, I pull up pepper trees because they would be better if I could manage it like a syntropic system. But because they grow so fast here, I, I try to remove them. I just don't want to have to deal with that. So this is what the rabbits are doing. They're eating all around this. Um, this... Uh, pink Vietnamese pink star apple. <clears throat> That's why there's no weeds around it. You can see they've been like eating the grass around it. There's milkweed here. And I guess that's the one that's not native. I, I don't really focus on native plants. If you, if you just focus on one thing, you're being misdirected. You gotta look at the whole system. The pepper tree, soil and pepper trees has more biology in it than uh, than the native oak trees. So that's how I know they're, they're, they're good for the system. So now I'm gonna go over to what I consider the star of the farm. Definitely, uh, it's definitely uh, the top five rarest trees we have and easily top 
can top my list is uh, top three favorite trees here. And it's a, a Juicy Pearl Star Apple. You have to look, go to uh, Mike Tenery, Mike T on TFF or Mike TR on the Australian Fruit Forum. And um, uh, and 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 look at it, and he gives a good description. And he says that this is a different variety than Argentium uh, Chrysophyllum Argentium eratum, A U R T U M, A A U R A T U M, Argentium A R G E U T E U M. So yeah, it's definitely not a Kamito. It doesn't have the dark bronze. The leaves are much larger. And this giant Inga uh, Fuila was, uh, uh, or Edulis, whatever it is, was uh, growing up here. This is the, you know, that plant, Capi Benisteriopsis uh, vine. Uh, I, don't, I wish I hadn't planted it here. It's just so aggressive, but it's here and it's getting quite large, but I had to make sure the plants stay off of it. That's what I mean. I don't like pepper trees because they're just so aggressive. So this wasn't getting much sun because the, the, the trees were sheltering it and it had a uh, passion vine and other things growing on it. So I, uh, I did, did remove all that, chop it back. I do, I do that type of maintenance and I remove vines from plants. And this one is a white. So the, the Argentium uratum, or uh, Chrysophyllum Argentium uratum, uh, variety. So it looks like we have two different varieties. We have the Philippine gold, which is probably one of those, or cross or something, or it, maybe it's its own species. I'm surprised that we don't have more information on that. Um, Philippines, thank you so much. I love that. That's also probably one of my favorite trees, that little tiny tree that I don't bother to protect, but it's been there for a few years. Yeah, this tree started off slow too. I actually source the seeds from of these from a completely 100% reliable source. And so I know that it uh, is what it says it is, and it, it, the pictures look a lot alike. And supposedly it can fruit small. We are further north. We are further north, so things do take a little longer. Achachiro takes uh, up to 10 years, though. I said that our ach ach first Achachiro, which is this, fruited within um, five years. I fruited it within four years here. It fruited here within four years after buying it. Uh, it fruited right after I gave it a zebu manure. Within six months, it fruited. First time I ever applied zebu manure. I got my zebus, and the first first day I got it, I made a, uh, a fresh zebu manure tea and flung it around. And I also put some flowers of the... Uh, of the uh, 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 Garcinia intermedia, the MB, or not intermedia, the Garcinia livingstonii, the MB tree, flowers off that and leaves and chop them up and put that in that mix. And I, I'm positive that had something to do with its flowering. I know the zebu manure did. <clears throat> zebu manure, or yeah, zebu manure I know creates aggregation, but you can't be giving them the grains. The grains are all polluted. Uh, the hay is all polluted. You have to check with your um, uh, with your uh, buyer or where you buy hay from. Um, uh, another thing they tell you to do is uh, at the Florida Man Teaching School, uh, they tell you to use mulch. So when you have a compacted lawn, they know it's compacted because they say break up the soil around the tree so that the tree can tree's roots can grow through it. Excuse me. If you weren't driving on it, the tree wouldn't need, you wouldn't have to break up the soil. You admit that it's compacted just by saying that. Maybe you can't connect the dots, but I can hear what you're saying when you say that because our soil isn't compacted. I could reach my hand into it up to, uh, up to my elbows in places. So uh, sand doesn't get compacted when it has roots in it. Stop, stop mowing on it and stop compacting it by, or stop ruining it by removing all the plants, putting a monocrop. Monocrops are, are inferior to uh, this, even if it's your uh, nitrogen fixing peanut. The nitrogen fixers show up. Everything is a nitrogen fixer in a healthy system, everything. Even me, I even have nitrogen fixing bacteria on my skin, guaranteed. <clears throat> Walking through here. Anyway. 
I hope you like this video. I'm trying to like um, give people knowledge that just is not available. And uh, I, uh, it's obviously working here. I'm, you know, it's just a matter of time before uh, people will come here and be more amazed just, uh, just because it's just, I can see the direction it's going in. And it's not dying. Disease is coming from the way you're growing, using chemicals. That causes disease, period. Please, please, Florida man, look at the whole picture of what's going on and not just your own personal needs. Somebody got money from the chemical industry to write those, those stupid uh, uh, recommendations for every uh, home garden in, in Florida to poison our waterways and poison our food. Our food is banned around the world, a lot of it. The corn's banned. Uh, Florida citrus, nobody on, in their right mind would drink the uh, conventional Florida citrus. <clears throat> I, I, it just, it's just, you can't get healthy when you're consuming chemicals. So I, the recommendations for the Kamito was, uh, a, I think it was a pound of fertilizer every Two months. So we're consuming, so that's six pounds a year, but we're consuming on average in America, 15 pounds of chemicals. So what do you think that does to our health? Anyway, please people, let's like look at everything and let's try to save Florida. I just, it really is a passion of mine. And the, the kids today are really gonna hate us for being so dumb doesn't have to be that way. Your kids don't have to grow up to be a Florida man. They don't. Anyway, <laughs> have a beautiful day. This is Eric at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and this is Florida Natural Firing. Farm right. Farm wisely. Farm for the planet. Farm for the future.